Hello, welcome back to another Game Plus tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make a uh, well, not cool, but an avatar, YouTube avatar like the one I have uh, for my YouTube page. So, open up GIMP, make a new file 88 by 88. This is the uh, the uh, dimensions for the YouTube avatars. Okay, so fill it in with white, and let's get started. Uh, let's zoom up a little. There we go. That should be pretty good. Now, depending on what you want, you're, that's what you're going to fill it with. So take the bucket tool, and I'm going to be choosing a blue. So get a dark blue out, and fill it in. Now, alpha to selection this layer. Go to select, shrink, shrink it by two. There. And now, take a lighter blue, probably right around there, and fill, make a new layer, and fill in the selection with that. Now make another new layer, select shrink by two more pixels and get a pretty light blue probably around there if you can see that down there okay and fill that layer in and then select none and here we have the basic uh, outline for uh, this avatar so now take your text tool and this works really well with three letters so if you can abbreviate your YouTube name or whatever to three letters that'll be great so I'm just gonna be doing uh, the game quiz T G W. Oops. Oh. Okay, there we go. And make it black. And then find a nice text that you like. I'm just gonna be using the one I use all the time, which is Nightclub BTN Bold. And then just fit it to your liking. You don't want to make it. Actually, you can make it all the way big, as big as you can get it within that blue uh, layer there. And that should be good, size 37 if you're using this text. And now, alpha to selection this, create a new layer <coughs> above this text layer. Go select, shrink, shrink by one pixel. Now, take your fill tool, and actually your gradient tool. Now, get a, for a foreground color, you want a, uh, not a light blue as the one we had before, but a different shade of that blue. So for this, I'll be using 0261FF. Then for your background, um, a dark blue, but not the same shade as we used before. So for this, I'm using 00326B. Then take a foreground and background uh, gradient and just stroke down. Then select none. And there we have the text. Now we now what I'm going to do, you don't have to do this, is uh, make a reflection for this. So merge these two text layers down and duplicate it. Then take your rotate tool and rotate it by 180 degrees. Then your flip tool and just flip it, move tool, and then match them up pretty nicely. Like um, around there is pretty good. Now on this layer that we flipped, right click on it and press Add Layer Mask, uh, White Full Opacity, Add. Then take a great your blend tool, black to white, and then just stroke up for a nice transparent. Then right click and apply Layer Mask, and there we go. We have some transparent text and the last thing I'm going to do is add some fractals. Now, I don't exactly remember where I found these fractals, but if I do find the link, I will make sure to put them uh, in the description. So, uh, go to File, Open as Layers, and open anything you any fractal you like. Uh, let's see. And just select from however many you have, just one that you think would look good. Oops. And just put it however you think, it, wherever you think it would look good. This is really your own discretion here. And then set the layer mode to overlay. And then you can add as many as you want. I'm going to be adding about two or three. And keep, always set them to overlay. And if you want, you can uh, move them down to get all of them. But I like, I like them just in this light blue area so what I'm gonna do is I'll have to selection this light blue area go select invert and then on these two layers we're gonna cut the outside so go to edit cut and then for this one edit cut and then select none and that's actually a little too bright on the, the edges but there we go the it just those uh, fractals are just in this blue box so now the last thing we're going to do is add a little glare to the top. 
So make a new layer and uh, take your lasso tool, alpha to selection this black layer. You could just select all, but I like the alpha selection. Now uh, go sub or uh, add. No, I'm sorry. You don't even need to alpha selection that. Just take your lasso tool and lasso shape kind of like that, or however you want your glare to be. Now take your blend tool with a white foreground, go foreground transparent, and just stroke it like that. There. Then go select none. Now turn the opacity of this weight down. <coughs> and you have a pretty nice glare effect right there. And now what we're going to do is hide this, these two text layers, and even these fractal layers. And this layer, so we only have the two background layers really. So the only two background layers you want to do when you want merge down, and then go to uh, colors. Actually, first let's show all these see how it looks. Yeah, the overlay is still going on those two, which is why it's so bright. So it's because we didn't add an alpha channel. That's why. So now again, off to selection these. Select shrink by four. Select invert. Edit, cut, then do that for the the other for other fractals you have. Or you don't even have to do the shrink; just go to edit, cut, and there you go. Go select none, and there you have it. You have your uh, YouTube avatar. So I hope you like this tutorial, and I hope you like this avatar. So uh, this avatar tutorial, and I hope it helps you. So this is a gameplay tutorial. I'll see you next time.